Unicure shared a further update on their clinical trials testing the gene therapy AMT-130. Take a look at our previous videos on AMT-130. AMT-130 aims to reduce the levels of the total HTT protein in the brain. Unlike other HD therapies in trial, you only need one dose of the drug in your life which is given via brain surgery. In Unicure's two clinical trials, HD Gene TRX1 in the USA and HD Gene TRX2 in Europe, participants received either a high or low dose of AMT-130 or a mock surgery where no drug is given. The 29 participants will then be tracked for five years to test if AMT-130 is safe and how it might impact HD progression. Unicure has released the two-year findings for 21 of the participants receiving AMT-130. These were compared to historical data collected on people with HD instead of data from the mock surgery group, so we should be cautious in interpreting the findings. AMT-130 appears to be relatively safe at both the low and high doses, with no new serious side effects reported since the trial was briefly paused back in August 2022. We know from previous Unicure updates that there is an initial short-lived spike in NFL levels post-surgery, which is to be expected. The good news is people treated with both doses have NFL levels that are significantly lower than what is normally seen in people with HD. Unicure also looked at the composite unified Huntington's disease rating scale, which measures someone's ability to carry out daily tasks, movement control, capacity to pay attention, and memory. Disease progression was slowed by around 80% in people on the high dose compared to historical data, suggesting AMT-130 may be helping to slow HD progression in this small group of people. This is the first time any trial has reported slowing of HD progression. Additional data from more people over longer timeframes is needed to understand the safety of AMT-130 and how it affects symptoms of HD. However, these results are promising. The FDA also granted regenerative medicine advanced therapy for Unicure's AMT-130, which allows for increased collaboration to accelerate development, potentially facilitating earlier access for patients with life-threatening medical conditions. A lot of encouraging news has been released lately from HD clinical trials. These trials would not be possible without the bravery of many people with HD who participated in them. We look forward to further updates on these trials in the future.